Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm bringing you guys a new video. Um, I recently did other work to this car as well. Um, I think the last job I did on it was, um, I think the belt tensioner um, with the belt and all that. What we're doing today is the same customer. He's starting to fix up his car a little bit more. It has well over 200,000 miles already. But what we're doing today is uh, we're gonna be changing the spark plugs. But if you notice, they're under there, like some of the infinities or, yeah, some infinities have some hidden just like that. This is Nissan, so yes, yeah, made by infinity as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what you need to remove to get access to uh, the spark plugs and the coils. So my customer got this set off of Amazon. He got the ignition coils and the plugs. I, I was the one that, um, that recommended if he could get the kit for cheap um, to just get the coils, we could put the new coils and all that. Cause I seen a lot of times when you do spark plugs, even though you don't damage the coil or anything like that, the coil is bad for some reason. They're just the way of the life of a mechanic, I guess. But um, to start off, so I never show like the easy parts, but here you have the air intake box with the air filter. You have little hoses coming here. You have this bad boy right here with two um, Phillips head screws. And that exposes one coil. But if you want to get to the rest, I recommend taking out the battery. You don't have to, but I take it out just for space. Uh, take out the throttle body, disconnect it. Uh, it's going to be four eight millimeter bolts. After you expose that, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right, right under there, that one, right on the throttle body itself, the housing, I guess you want to call it. Right there, there's a 10 millimeter right there. Um, it looks like whoever did the spark plugs last on this car didn't put that screw back, but that's like a bracket to hold the manifold down. So you're gonna go ahead and remove that screw. That's probably one of the most hidden ones. Then you're gonna have a screw back here as well, which is to another bracket um, of the manifold, just hold it down. And then you're gonna have one screw there one screw there, one there, one there, and one there. And then here you have what holds the cover for the for the manifold. You don't have to take those grommets off. I took them off only because this one right here was stripped and I had to um, I had to take take it out with an extractor bit. So whoever did it, whoever did this job before me. Um, it looks like he did it in a rush, but we're gonna fix all that. So literally you have to do all those steps just to remove the, the manifold out of the way. And then this is a, um, I think it's a brake booster hose if I'm, I'm not mistaken. It goes to the valve cover, it's like a valve cover breather hose. You can also change out this, which is a PCV valve. You can change that out as well. It depends on on if you want to or not. But yeah, it's a brake booster hose. You have to disconnect one from the back right here and this one as well. So once you disconnect those, you can see all four coil packs are right there. Literally right there in plain view. So we're gonna go ahead and change these out. Let me see if I can get one out because this, this customer was having a misfire on cylinder number four. Uh, so what I did right away, I asked him when was the last time you changed your spark plates? He told me about maybe two years ago. So it, it, has, it, it should be time already. So let me see if I could get one of these plugs out for you guys just to show you. Because it is it's anytime you have a misfire on a car, it's going to be one of three things most of the time. Uh, it's either going to be an, an ignition coil, a bad spark plug, 
or a bad fuel injector. I rarely see fuel injectors go out, but that is an option as well. And there's other ways to check the fuel injectors if they're working properly or not. So that's a fuel injector there. If you get a long screwdriver and put the, the metal end to there and then the rubber end to your ear, you should be hearing that click or tick if you wanna say. You should be hearing it tick and that's what's gonna let you know that the fuel injector is working properly. So let me go ahead and take out this coil. I don't remove the, the manifold yet because it has some hoses that are really, really brittle. Give me one second. Whenever there's hoses that are brittle like that, you gotta be careful because some of these hoses literally have their own special design to it. And you can call AutoZone, you can do whatever you want. And um, most of the time, they're not, they're not gonna give you the right part, so. I believe this one takes a 916 or a 14. Same thing. Let's see if it does. Yeah, 916. 916s, 14, same thing. So here's one of the spark plugs. This is from cylinder four. Uh, this is where he was getting the misfire from. So uh, luckily he got some coil packs as well, which is a good idea. Since we're removing everything there, while we're there, you might as well change the coil packs, you know? I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, if you do it, it's, you know, it won't hurt. Cause what if it's just the, the coil pack that's bad or the injector or something like that. But these are ready to change for sure. Look at all that gunk on there. Once they start getting yellow from right there from the porcelain part, that's a good indicator that that it's gonna be time. But like I said, it's worth the while just to change out everything because you don't wanna have to take all this stuff off again. So let's compare it to this one. Brand new. Brand new spark plug, looks really nice. Well, that should be it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure, um, I mean, you don't have to, but I recommend it strongly. Change out this gasket. It's called the intake manifold gasket. And go ahead and clean up the, the, the holes, but stuff a rag in each, each one of them. Because if you see, look at already a little piece of leaf already went into one. So I should have covered it right before I started, but I did hit it with the, with the blower, so that way, any debris or anything like that didn't fall in there, but um, I do recommend to clean that all up and then take the, the manifold off and put the manifold on here. Maybe a little bit of silicone. Um, I would use copper uh, spray gasket. This one works pretty well. Just let it dry for a little bit, then you can reinstall the manifold. And that's all you guys need to know for this. So, um, what else? Might as well change out the your air filter while you're there as well. Um, if you have this same vehicle, um, this customer also has this, which we're gonna call it a motor mount, but it's for a chassis, it's a chassis mount. And that's where we're feeling a lot of play from, a lot of vibrations. So it's good to start checking the whole car while it's you know taken apart like this and see what else you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it in right now and see if they have that part in stock. And I'll let the customer know he wants to knock it out while we're here. That way you always leave your customers satisfied like the way they should be. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, and uh, leave me any comments down below if I missed anything. Um, but hope I hope this helps you guys out. Thank you very much for watching.